most of the time I walk in, it would be like, it would be so hot in there too. And like, that's what made it even worse. Like, should I, like, should I do, like, what's like, what should I do? Should I fight him? Like, 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 what, like, 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 what should I do? Like, I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today. The hate be so real, the love be fake. Be bumping they gums and bumping my tape. Don't go against me, they ask for my help. Go get out your feelings and get it yourself. Might got the same shoes, but you ain't gonna step. That shit that you just put out, you could've killed. Yo, she got a nigga, he got a shirt. What is up, YouTube? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Gabe here, aka G's World TV. And I'm back with another video. As y'all already know from the title below, this is another story time. In this story time, this is a roommate horror story. Disclaimer, this isn't my recent roommate. This wasn't my recent roommate. This was my roommate from freshman year. So he he was like my very my very first roommate. I have a lot of a lot of stuff in my notes that he didn't, you know, that you know described that he didn't did. When I tell you like this is a lot of stuff. I'm really not going to explain everything on here, but I'm just like, you know, just pick out the juicy parts, you know, so I can like, you know, explain it. Like the last time I um, posted a story time, it was like, like the very first story time, but you know, when I told y'all about the time that my ex-friend had cut me off because I accidentally, you know, walked in on her. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Gabe. It's very nice to meet you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been here, welcome back. Y'all already know this is story time. Y'all, when I tell y'all like this story time, like oh my god, like when I tell y'all, I might end up having to explain so much in this story time because it's like I literally remember I remember all the stuff like it happened yesterday, like and this was only like what a year like a year ago when this happened. <sighs> y'all, as y'all already tell, like I'm I'm kind of I feel kind of irritated when it comes to me telling this story because I already told this story like. One too many times, I've already told this. I've already told this story to so many people. So, some of the people who I already told this story to, they already subscribed to my channel. So, I'm pretty sure, like you know, when I tell the story time, they already know what and who I'm talking about. So, so you know, let's get right into the video. So, if y'all don't know, um, I started college in 2022. So basically, um, I started almost. I started college almost two years ago. So basically, um, my roommate, I'm, I'm going to name him Kenny. So, um, Kenny had basically, uh, I was uh, on moving day. Like we had basically moved in on the same day, but I had moved in like way earlier than him. I had moved in one time and he had moved in like sometime in the afternoon. So basically like he was already, like he was already moving in. My mom was helping me move in. I was with her almost that whole day. So I had came back and, you know, he was, you know, already moving in. You know, we had spoke to each other, you know, because you know how, you know, when you first meet your roommate, you know, you speak to him, you just, you just, you get acquainted and associate with him because, you know, like, you know, that's your roommate. We had spoke and it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say this or not because I kind of feel like it's it would be kind of mean. I kind of feel like it would be kind of mean if I say this. Basically, it's like when we uh spoke, it's like uh he, he tried to dab me up and, uh, the first time I noticed when he dabbed me up, I had looked at his hand and I noticed that he had four four fingers. If some of y'all watching this and y'all subscribe to my channel, y'all 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 already know who I'm talking about. Like y'all most definitely know who I'm talking about. I looked at his hand like he and and I noticed like he had four fingers and I didn't even think too much about it because like hey you know people born differently. I kind of yeah that's when I realized that he was kind of disabled. Cause you know he had four fingers and also he had um he had like a, a little limp in his walk yeah he, he yeah he had like a limp in his walk I don't, oh my god oh my god god please forgive me i might cut this out because I, I don't know i kind of feel bad for describing it i don't know oh my god oh my god like they, i'm yeah, 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 y'all already know. I'm just, I'm just describing, I'm just describing what, what he looked like. Cause like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about, Lord knows, I am not trying to talk about him. I'm just trying to like give a description of how he was. Anyway, so for the first couple of months, me and Kenny, you know, we was getting, you know, acquainted. We was getting like kind of like acquainted for like, for like the first couple of months. You know, like we was, we didn't really go to all the events. We didn't really go to all the events on campus, but you know, we went to some. Um, Cause like, you know, uh, it was like, you know, our first time, you know, in college, cause you know, like the first person that you meet in college is your roommate. Like I said, uh, for the first couple of months, like we was hanging out, um, we was going like to some, some of the events. Like we went to like some of the events, uh, with, uh, with each other. We went to like the, um, we went to K-Bex with each other. We kind of hung out in the calf a little bit. 
but like they were like they were in all the time like there was like a little there was like I'll say like two percent of the time basically and, and then around late October early November was when stuff kind of like hit the fan that's when like you know stuff started like you know when he started like you know like doing all this and doing all this crazy stuff I don't remember the first thing that happened I think he had like he had like a, a loud speaker like he had like um you no know, he like you know he would like you know do stuff like music he was like you know do stuff like last loud music he was smoking a room every day and you know like do like do all the stuff that I that I really wasn't comfortable with and stuff that I hated I know my camera is blurry but it's like I got it in autofocus mode you know there it go there it goes down yeah he would do stuff like you know um smoking a room every day he would play loud music and you know like you know you know, all, you know, all this stuff that I hated, you know, stuff that I wasn't really comfortable with. Around that time, like, when stuff started, like, when, you know, me and my roommates' relationship started, you know, going downhill, it's like, my friend group, they did not like this man at all. They didn't, like, they did not like him. They did not like him. It's like, like, they, you know, they liked him, you know, like, for the first couple months, like, uh, like, how I, like, how I did. But it's like, you know, until he started doing all that stuff, yeah, they decided, you know, that he, they didn't, you know, they wasn't really fooling with him like that. Also, like, uh, his girlfriend is also in this story time. I'm going to name her Miranda. So, you know, like, you know, he got some stuff that I, that I, uh, that I'm talking about. Like, you know, they got stuff to do with her. Speaking of that, sometimes, like, she would have class and it's like, uh, every time I would come back in the room, like, she, like, he would, like, just not let her leave. He would not let, like, he would never, like, he would never let her leave. Like, why? Like, 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 give this girl some space. Like, like, just, like, just let her leave the room. It's like, you can't go to her room. It's like, why you gotta keep her in the room twenty four seven, y'all? He would have her in that room twenty four seven. He would never let her leave. It's like every single day that he, I would come in that room. She would always be in there. Miranda would always be in there, and I'd be like, let, 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 like, just, like, just, like, just let her leave. Like, I already know you, you don't like this girl that much. You can't you can't like Miranda that much now. Come on now, y'all y'all y'all. Like I said, I'm I'm reading on my phone, so most of the people who I was um friends with, like I said, you know, like they had problems with them, and it's like one of the friends that I was, one of my friends I'm closest with, uh, he stayed across the hall from me. Uh, he was very like he was very like nasty, like he was very like he was very unhygienic. If that's the word, he would like yeah, he wasn't very like hygienic. He wasn't very clean. He would leave trash on my side of the room. He would um put stuff in my trash can when he had his own trash can. Like I said, he he kept blasting, you know, speakers like the the loud music through the speakers because you know, like he yeah, he was a bad roommate. Like he mm mm y'all when I tell like the worst experience ever, like the worst experience ever. It was like this one weekend where I had came over here to my auntie house. Uh, before I had like uh went grocery shopping. I went grocery shopping and I had brought this big old bag of like um y'all know like them chips. Y'all know like like that big like that like that cardboard box of like uh with them small bags of chips in it. I forgot what it's called like it's I think it's called like some type of mix some type of mix hold on, hold on it was a classic it was a classic mix so basically it was like this i had about that like that uh box of chips and i had put it in my closet so basically i don't know why i didn't lock my closet because my mama always told me like whenever like when we first moved in it's like whenever it comes to like um leave me leaving off leaving going off campus or like leaving going somewhere i make sure i lock my closet but for some reason i really did I was here at my auntie house and I had came back. I think like my auntie, she had dropped me off back at the um back at my dorm. So um I came in my room and it's like every time like you know I like I said before like he was like he would smoke every day. I had came back to the room and I had my mouth set on the chips. So like I said, you no, know, I don't know why I didn't lock my closet. I don't know why I did not lock my closet. I should, yeah, 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 I should have. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I forgot or maybe I just didn't, just didn't, just didn't lock, lock it. So I open my closet door and I get my um, box of chips out. I open the box. Tell me why over half of my chips are eaten. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Over half of my chips are eaten. What makes you think that you could 
go into somebody else's closet and eat up their chips without asking. You could have asked me. Like you literally could have asked me. I was a phone call away. You could like you could have called me and asked me. I asked him. I'm like, did you eat up? Like did you eat my chips? He was talking about how you know um he ate them because he was high. You can't blame eating over eating somebody's snacks on some supplements. You mean to tell me that you had that much of the munchies to the point where you just want to go in my closet and eat up all my snacks? Like, 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 what is wrong with you? Like, like, what's wrong with you? Like, 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 like why? You got to know to go in my closet. You got to know to go in my closet without asking just because you were high. You can't blame it on you being high. If you going to get that high to the point where you going to just eat up somebody's, eat up somebody's chips, then I don't think you need to be smoking no more. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's in, it, me being his roommate. I literally had, I literally had that talk with him because, uh, because like, you know, we got like, you know, just set some boundaries. Cause you know, like as a roommate, as roommates, you know, you got to have boundaries, you know, you got to respect people's boundaries. I don't remember what I said, but it's like, I told him that if he does that again, then it was going to be a problem. Some of y'all were in the comments would, would probably be like, man, you better than me because I would have whooped his before I had the little talk with him, I had told my friends what he did. I wish I had recorded like a clip of me, like just, um, of me like talking to him about it. But it's like, I really, I really want to think about it. Cause you know, like that was, uh, like that was, bef that was way before, you know, I came, became a YouTuber. Yeah, he, yeah. So I had talked to him about it and you know, he was like, you know, he was agreeing with me. He was like, okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. My job is like, he like, he, Miranda, and his homeboy, all three of them, like, were all in the room. So, when, yeah, when I, when I was having that, having to talk with him. Yeah, that's the first story. So, it was, like, the second semester of my freshman year, and I was over here at my auntie's house again when I first moved in. Um, my auntie had let me have that TV that was in the the room next door over here because, you know, like, I needed a TV because, you know, I, I didn't have one. So, um, yeah, so she let me have the TV and, you know, I, you know, I brought it. I, I had got it the same day I moved in. I'm just sitting here just chilling on my phone. I'm just sitting here just chilling on my phone. And Kenny had told me that he had brought two other dudes that didn't even go to school there in the room. As I'm on my phone, I get a call from Kenny and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, what, like, like, what he want? And then it's like, I, I answer the phone, I'm like, hello. And then he's like, he was like, yeah, um, your TV broke. Bro. And I'm like, excuse me? Like, what you mean my TV broke? Like, what, like, what you mean my TV broke? So I'm like, you broke my TV? He was explaining how he, he was in the room and he was walking. And then for some reason he had tripped on the, he had tripped on like a on like the cord of the TV, and then he had ended up knocking the TV off the nightstand. When I heard that, I'm like, "This mother, <laughs> y'all!" I was so pissed off. I come back, I come back to the dorm, I come back to my room, and I noticed the TV was off. I turned the TV on. Tell me why the inside of the screen was destroyed. It was like this, like like y'all know how like y'all like like the inside of the of the screen. Be broke. When I tell you I was so mad at this, I was so mad at this. I'm like, so I, like, should I do? Like, what's like, what should I do? Should I fight him? Like, 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 what, like, 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 what should I do? Like, you for sure to cross the line now. So is I'm just sitting here like, this he he broke my TV. He the broke my TV. Like we get like we gotta fight. Like me, you gotta fight. Like we gotta like we we most definitely gotta square up. We most definitely gotta square up. Like most definitely. <sighs> That's another one. There were days where um he would have Miranda over and like there are times where I would like, you know, um all three of us like be in the room. I would like be either be sitting on my phone or like taking a nap or something. Day and night, during the day and the night, there are times where I would like just be sitting in my bed, I would look over to them like having sex under the covers. Having sex under the covers, like, like, you know, like, they're, yeah, yeah, having sex under the covers, right? Like, hear me out. And there are times that, that, that he would have, like, that, that they would have sex so hard to the point where the bed would be squeaking and hitting the wall and stuff like that. If y'all, if, if, if my family watching this, like, please, like, 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 like I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like, like, y'all might want to click out this video because it's like, it's, it's a little bit too, it's, it's a little bit too much for y'all. Yeah, th yeah, they would have, like, sex under the, um, uh, under the covers day and night to the point, um, not day and night, but it's like some, sometimes during the day, 
most of the time during the night. I'll be like, dude, don't know why I don't want to hear that. Like, dude, like, like you can't respect my boundaries. Like, it's somebody in a room. It's like not only are we, not only are you disrespecting me, you also disrespect your own self because like you really don't know how to have respect for other people. There was also one time where it was like um during the day where I was in my room. Oh my god. I was in the room one day. I'm just sitting on my phone and they sleeping in the bed, sitting in bed with each other because you know like like they did they like they they do they twenty they just do that twenty four seven. So I'm sitting in the bed and I'm sitting up on my phone and I'm not, and I notice like I'm hearing like some I'm hearing like some quiet whisper whisper like moaning. I hear some quiet whisper like moaning and I notice that I'm gonna tell y'all what happened next. Tell me why I looked over. Tell me why Miranda was giving Kenny head under the covers. I look over to that. And that ain't even the nasty part. She gave him head to the point where he took a piss in her mouth and she went and spit it out into his trash can. <laughs> Giving him head to the point where he pees in your mouth. Mm-mm. I'm... Y'all, when I tell y'all, I think I think that was like the the nastiest experience I I ever experienced with my with my roommate from freshman year ever. Yeah, that's that part of the story. Another one, like I say, he wasn't he wasn't as hygienic. Come to find out, Miranda wasn't hygienic either. Almost daily, on a daily basis, I would see cups and bottles of this girl's pee sitting all around the room. He would let her pee in a bottle in a cup. He would just leave it sitting around. Like go to the like go to the bath like go to the bathroom and, and pull it out. Like go, like don't like don't want to smell that. And y'all, when I tell y'all, like I would walk in, that room would smell so bad. That room was smell so bad. Like that that room was that room that room just smelled horrible. Y'all can't even describe I can't even describe the smell. Like it was like Imagine like football players in a locker room right after doing right after playing a game. It would be that mixed with the smell of pee. It would be a mixture of mustiness and pee. Most of the time I walk in, it would be like it would be so hot in there too. And like that's what made it even worse. Like it was, it was hot in there too. It didn't even like y'all. When I tell like that, that room smelled so bad. It didn't even smell like it didn't even smell like how the room smelled like when we first moved in. Like it, like the whole smell when we first moved in, like of the room, like the whole smell of the room, like it was just gone. Like it, 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 it was gone. It, it was gone. Like it's, it's, it was, just, it, it was just gone. He and Miranda would like argue all the time while they were together. Before they got together, Kenny was talking to. Uh, another girl. She was a uh, she was a white girl. He was talking to uh, her. I think Miranda had like uh, found out that he was cheating on her or something. Found out that he was cheating on her with with the with the white girl that he was talking to. For some reason, Miranda had got mad and it's like they was arguing about it for like a few days now. It's like she had hit him in the face one time. And it's like they was on the on the uh, floor. Um, they was on the floor wrestling. I'm just like I'm just sitting there, y'all. I'm just sitting there in shock. Y'all. I'm like. Yeah, they had yeah they uh they had a toxic relationship but they was good at knocking the boots and then there was a, another fight that they had uh they was uh they had got to fight again but with this one I had to break this one up I was I was like standing between them and I was just trying to, like keep uh keep them from fighting Miranda she was bleeding and uh she had told Kenny that he had pulled out her hair I didn't really break the first fight up because like I was like too in shock so. Yeah, I had to, you know, just stop this one. He would also, like, uh, heat up, like, some noodles and stuff, like, like leftover food. He would leave it sitting out for days, and then a few days later, he would go back and eat it. Like, y'all, the nastiest stuff, y'all, the nastiest thing I've ever, y'all, the nastiest thing I've ever experienced in my life, ever. People from the same floor would come in the room. I would literally tell them what the room would look like. When I say y'all, people would literally record the room. Look, look, 
people literally record the room and everything. There was one time where I had got fired because of him because like he had left so much trash. He had left so much trash on the um on my side of the room. I was literally on the verge of whooping this <laughs> most definitely. Y'all hey, also uh speaking of fighting, there was also one night where Kenny had got into a fight with my um, next door neighbor. I forgot what the reason behind the fight was. It was also like a bunch of dudes just like standing outside the um outside of the room, like just recording and watching the fight. I would insert the clip, but unfortunately I didn't record the fight. So anyway, back to the video. I don't fight, I'm not a domestic violent person, but I was ready to lay this out. I was ready to murder this man. After that, I had talked to, I had talked to my mom, mama about it, uh, about like what, what my roommate was doing. So I talked to, um, so she, she asked me to put my hard direct on the phone. So they was trying to talk about it and they wanted me to wait. My mama wanted me to wait like a few, uh, like a, wait like a little bit longer until like, you know, he does something that, you know, that was out of pocket. I really couldn't wait that long because you know, I was so ready to move out, out of there. I had, y'all yeah, had to get up out of there. I most definitely had to get up out of there, like most definitely. And it's like he had messed up one more time to the point where um my hall director, my hall director kept asking me like, do I want to like, do I want to stay in the room? Do I want to move out? He kept he for days he kept asking me that. My hall director had came to the room. I think we had like room checks that day, and I had um I had told my hall director that I was ready to move out. So we had, I had talked to him about like, you know, uh, putting me in a, another room on another floor. So, you know, we got that, you know, resolved. So the day I had moved out, I had my, uh, I had my friends. Do I want to say their real names? Do I want to say their real names? You know, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying say their real names. Like it was my friends, Mariah, Katie, and my homeboy, Randy. So uh, Mariah, Katie, and Randy, they was all helping me move out. As soon as they opened the door, the first thing that they noticed was the smell of the room. It was that bad to them. It's like I had got so used to it. It's like I had got so used to the smell of the room to the point where it's like I I I I could I, I forgot what the room had smelled like. When I tell y'all that smell almost killed their nose. Like like Randy like like Randy for example, he was so overwhelmed by that smell to the point where he had to ask me for a mask to help me move out. Two other guys in the uh, same dorm that I was cool with uh, from some uh, the floors uh, above me, they had came down to the room to see what it smelled like. That's what That's what I'm mm. He called him. I'm finna tell him this shit. He gotta know this. He wants you on, he wants you to know this shit. Go shit smell like straight hair, man. He on time. He on time. You ain't gotta keep your room. Hey, you got your keys. Wait, 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 you got your keys. When I tell y'all, they was talking about how that room smoked so bad. They smell like they said that their room smelled like straight up piss. As as they helped me move out, um, I'm in the hallway and like, um, uh, Mariah, uh, she was talking about how, um, I think Mariah was talking about how, um, Miranda had like caught an attitude with Mariah or something like that. She was talking about how Miranda had uh had bucked up on her a little bit and caught an attitude with her, and it pissed Mariah off to the point where she almost jumped on her. And my y'all, Kenny and like Miranda is this tall. Miranda is this tall. Like she she a midget. She a midget. And Kenny is this tall. So basically, I was taller than both of them. So basically, that like they would help me, like they would like help me move out. And it's like Randy was rushing me so uh so hard to the point, like because like he like that's how like that's how overwhelmed he was by like the smell of the room. We had walked up the stairs, and I tell you, these, these folks was roasting Kenny so bad. They were talking about how he smelled bad and you know all that. And I think KD had told me the um uh about like as they was like walking up the steps. Uh, Kenny had like did had like slammed the door, had like said something, and, like had slammed the door or something like that. When I fully moved out, I was I was I was literally about to go up to my new room. Kenny had the audacity to say, "Thanks for the room, Dave." Me and Mariah was talking about it so bad. Me and Mariah had felt the same way. Me and Mariah had felt the same way. Every time I think about it, it's like I'm like I get very pissed off because it's like. I don't know why, cause like you, it sounded like you was happy that I'm moving out. I was happy myself that I'm moving out because I was sick and tired of your bull. 
like, yo, when I tell you, I had told so many people this story. Now that I'm a YouTuber, I just decided that, you know, I just decided to, you know, just tell it to the people who don't even know. To my subscribers who are watching this now, I already know some of y'all already already mad for me now because it's like, which, like, how, like, like, it's like, 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 how, like, cause, like, how would you feel if your roommate did that to you? You think that you've had the nerve to do that stuff and think that I'm not going to say nothing about it? No, sir. It don't work like that. So, yep. That's very much the end of the video. That's very much the end of the story time. I kind of felt like it was a lot because, like, I had, like, just uh, described most of the stuff that was in, that was on the list. That's basically the end of the story time. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this story time, make sure you do these three things. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. So that way you can be notified whenever I post more content. And then we won't be disappointed. Please hit that subscribe button. Because I'm trying to like get my uh, channel up there. Because like if I'm going to be consistent, you know, what's the point of subscribing? So, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's basically my roommate horror story time. You know, I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. Yep, so I really hope that y'all, you know, enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, have a nice day, everybody. This is Jesus Word TV, and I will see y'all later. Love y'all. See y'all in, in the next video. Peace out. See y'all later. Why? You can't compete when you can't compare here. She ate the dick through my underwear. Uh, got up and got herself out of there. I see they put me on millions and things. Don't speak on my life without knowing the real. Eight figures a year with a copy to me.